Charlie Kaufman's mind-bending drama I'm Thinking of Ending Things Ending isn't meant to be fully understood. Throughout the film, hints are dropped that something isn't right, which leads to twists and turns that leave numerous questions by the time the credits roll. Based on a book of the same name by Ian Reid, I'm Thinking of Ending Things follows an unnamed woman, Jesse Buckley, as she accompanies her boyfriend Jake, Jesse Plemons, to his childhood home to meet his parents. The woman is having second thoughts about their relationship, but goes along for the ride anyway. Once they arrive at Jake's family home, the young woman begins to question her relationship and her reality. The movie's ending reveals that the majority of the film's events happened in Jake's mind. He never met the young woman, he only admired her from afar years ago. His parents have also long passed away. The movie serves to make a strong commentary on loneliness and regret. I'm Thinking of Ending Things changed the ending of the novel, but it was still controversial. I'm Thinking of Ending Things timeline, who the janitor is. It could be an older Jake. Kaufman's psychological thriller is intercut with the occasional shots of an older janitor working at a high school, those are the only moments in the film that actually happen. That older janitor is what Jake actually looks like in real life. Every scene involving Jake and the young woman takes place in Jake's mind as he lives in the past, consumed by regret, and is stuck in a loop of what could have been. The movie relays his life the way he wishes it had gone up until the I'm thinking of ending things ending. Even though Jake's fantasy in the Netflix original film is filled with a girlfriend and loving parents, the loneliness in his mind is evident. The color palette on the screen during his fantasy is cold and dark, seemingly tinged in blue, which is synonymous with sadness. The time in his imagination takes place in a blizzard, which adds to that cold feeling. The chilly and isolating atmosphere is wrapped in clues that Jake is remembering a time from decades ago. At his parents' house, Jake shows the young woman an old black-and-white photo of his dog, and she catches a glimpse of his mother looking as she would have dressed in the 1960s. Jake takes the young woman to an ice cream shop where female employees also look like they belong in the 1960s. It's clear that Jake is a lonely older man in his present state of mind, so he spends his time imagining what his life should be like. Moments from his actual time as a young man just unconsciously wrap themselves around his elaborate fantasy. Jake's fate and I'm thinking of ending things explained. He likely died. Jake ended up a lonely man full of regret. Life did not turn out the way he wanted, so he spends his days imagining life as it could have been, loving parents and a girlfriend. The students tease him, but he longs to be accepted. In the sequences with old Jake, the high school students are rehearsing the musical Oklahoma. The I'm thinking of ending things ending scene shows an alternate version of old Jake accepting an award and performing a song from the musical, aptly titled, Lonely Room, to an enthusiastic audience. Old Jake is so desperate for a sense of camaraderie and belonging that he even wishes to be the star of the musical at the high school where he works. It's just another fantasy sequence. In reality, Jake wraps up a cold, snowy night cleaning the school. Jake returns to his car and suffers a mental breakdown. He relives moments from his life, memories of his parents and various moments from when he was a child. During this breakdown, he strips naked and imagines following one of his high school fantasies. The final shot of the movie sees Jake's car completely covered in snow. He never made it out of his car and likely died there. The title of I'm Thinking of Ending Things has a darker second meaning, Jake is deeply depressed. He never had the life he desperately wanted, and he was likely thinking of ending things. The movie subverted this by leading audiences to initially think it was about a breakup when that was all just another layer of Jake's fantasy life. He got too deep in his depression to get himself out of a dangerous situation, it's clear that he at least considered death as a way out. I'm thinking of ending things ending is ultimately a tragedy. Life doesn't always make sense or turn out the way someone wants it to. Living with deep, consuming regret and sadness can have devastating, long-lasting consequences. What happened to Jake's parents in I'm thinking of ending things? The significance of Jake's family background. Jake's parents seem off-kilter from the get-go. That's because Jake is imagining them from different periods of their life. Jake is an older man in real life, so his parents likely passed away years ago. In the fantasy sequences where they are introduced to the young woman, they fawn over Jake, especially his mom. But later, old Jake is shown in mental anguish, reliving memories of a painful life. The audience sees a flash of his parents arguing. It's safe to assume he had a complicated relationship with his parents and wishes he could have made them proud. 